Hi, in this video we'll learn how to subtract a mixed fraction from a whole number. So first of all, we're going to convert this mixed fraction into improper fraction. So let's do that. I'm going to write 8 minus, okay, let's convert this mixed fraction into improper fraction. So we're going to multiply the whole part with the fraction's denominator. 3 times 6 is going to give me 18. And then we add that to the numerator. So 18 plus 1 is going to give me 19. So I got 19 and we don't change the denominator. So denominator is still going to be 6. Now, how do I subtract a fraction from a whole number? Well, that's easy. We're going to convert this whole number into a fraction by setting the denominator equal to 1. And you see that 8 divided by 1 is still going to give me 8. So I didn't change it. I didn't change the value of this fraction. Now we have got different denominators. What do I do to make the denominators equal? Because we can subtract the fractions unless we have the like denominators or the same denominator. So I'm going to multiply something. We know that we multiply something into fraction to make the denominators equal. Now let's see, can I multiply something into one to make it equal to six? The answer is yes, I can multiply one by six to make the denominator six, right? Because six times one is going to give me six. So I'm going to multiply my denominator by 6, but since I'm multiplying my denominator by 6, I will also have to multiply by numer my numerator by 6, because that way I don't change the value of the fraction, I'm balancing the fraction, right? And you see that 6 divided by 6 is still going to give me 1. So basically you're multiplying 8 over 1 by 1, and that's not changing it, that's not changing the fraction anything, right? The 6 over 6 is 1, and 1 times 8 is still going to give you 8. Now, all we, uh, so we need the same denominators, and which we got here, 6 times 1 is going to be 6. Now, we're going to multiply the numerator uh, with the numerator. So 6 times 8 is going to give me 48, and I already multiplied the denominator with the denominator here. And then we have the minus sign in between, and then we're going to write 19 over 6 as it is. Now, you see that I've got same denominators. I can just go ahead and subtract the fractions. So basically, when we subtract the fractions, we just subtract the numerator, right? So 48 minus 19 is going to give me 29, and we never subtract the denominators, right? So we're going to write this as 6. Now, 29 over 6, well, I can't reduce this fraction anymore, but I can convert this. This is an improper fraction where my numerator is greater than the denominator. So I can convert this improper fraction into a mixed fraction. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. We're going to use the long division method to convert this improper fraction into a mixed fraction. Okay, how many times will 6 go into 29? Well, 6 times 4 is going to give me 24, right? And 9 minus 4 is going to give me 5. 2 minus 2 is 0, so I got the remainder 5. So my answer is going to be, we write the quotient first. That means this is my whole number, or this is my whole part. And for the fractional part, we're going to use the remainder and the divisor. So the remainder will go on top, and the divisor will go in the denominator. So my answer is going to be 4 and 5, 6. That's my final answer. So remember, whenever you have an improper fraction, you make sure that you convert that into a mixed fraction. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video.